Every year, there's thousands of shoes that releases to the market. And my favorites happens to be the Air Jordan 4s. So I've curated a list of the best and the worst Air Jordan 4 colorways to buy right now, in my opinion. But before we get started with the list, let's go back to 1989. The year that birthed the Air Jordan 4s, designed by the legendary Tinker Hatfield and worn by the one and only Michael Jordan. This wasn't just another basketball shoe. It created a whole new movement. So we're not going to be looking at these Jordan 4s as basketball shoes. We're going to be looking at them from a sneakerhead perspective. Because let's be honest, bro. Like nobody's really hooping in these unless you really hate your life. Now this list is my personal opinion. If you got something to add to it or, you know, something to take off, you know, just let me know down in the comments. You feel me? But yeah, let's get started with my favorite colorways and disclaimer. These are not all the Jordan 4 colorways, you know? These are just some of the ones I had or have right now, you know? You already know I gotta kick things off with the OGs. The Air Jordan 4 Fire Red. This ain't just any red, this is fire red. It's classic, it's iconic, you know? From the crisp white leather to the pops of red on the tongue and mesh, this shoe just screams freshness they say don't play with a fire but with this colorway man it's the only way to go man i'm telling you next up we got the military black colorway these are my go-to for everyday kicks they're like a blank canvas the black and white colorway goes with literally anything in my closet but don't let the simplicity fool you though the premium leather and clean design makes these a cut above your average everyday shoe. They're comfortable enough to wear them every day. And honestly, one of the reasons this is on the list is because if you are a fashion guy or you are into fashion, you can put these with anything. You can wear this with anything, like whatever you think, you know what I'm saying? The military blacks are definitely a solid everyday choice. But next up, we really gotta talk about the shoe that actually got me into the Air Jordan 4 game, the off-white sale colorway. This collab with Virgil was insane. The deconstructed look, the sail, and the muslin color combo, it's like a breath of fresh air for the classic silhouette. These Jordans are a conversation starter for sure, but more importantly, they showed me the potential for unique design and fresh taste on the legendary shoe, man. Now let's take a turn to the dark side with a black cat colorway, man. This shoe is all about stealth, a complete blackout from the new buck upper all the way down to the midsole. It's a clean, monochromatic, look that goes with everything back in high school this is the only shoe i could put on because we were forced to you know put on black shoes and shit like that so this was the only black shoe i had in the air force once yeah but you know this was the only stylish black shoe i had man you feel me now next up let's talk about any shoe from the air jordan 4 thunder line specifically the red thunders these kicks are all about bold color blocking like a storm brewing on your feet you know whether it's a classic black and yellow or the newer white and black some of y'all niggas call them the panda thunders which is funny but yeah they pack a punch with that contrast and colors especially the red ones for me but these are another daily of mine i wear them with anything anywhere anytime yeah you know what i'm saying like these are just my favorite and yeah next up we gotta add the guava ice colorway to the list man these are summer vibes in the shoe the soft pink suede upper with those pops of blue and red it's like a tropical fruit explosion on your feet you know these are perfect for those days you want to add a little extra flavor to your outfit you know they are definitely in your face but hey that's the that's the beauty of it you know you know what i'm saying everybody gonna be looking at what you got on your feet now let's talk about the air jordan 4 pine green sb man this is supposed to be a skateboarding shoe i guess but hey we're wearing these regardless the smooth white leather with those contrasting pine green accents it's fresh it's clean it's a head turner on or off the board man i'm telling you plus the extra grippy gum soles makes it perfect for shredding now these are a little harder to style but once you figure it out man these are the must have for any sneaky heads who appreciates both style and functionality man i'm telling you last but not least we gotta talk about a lightning rod himself the air jordan 4 lightning man this shoe is a classic for a reason the bright yellow new book upper is electric like a bolt of sunshine it's balanced perfectly by the black netting and the gray accents, making it a true standout. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. These might be my favorite ones out of my whole Jordan 4 collection. Cause I wore these like eight, 10 times already, but like you can you can tell they're already dirty too. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like I, I wear these every time, you know what I'm saying? But they definitely in your face too. Don't get me wrong, cause like when you put these on, like, you know, it's a 
it's a step up to your outfit. It's like, you know, it's like look at me type shit. You feel me? Next up, we gotta talk about the worst Air Jordan 4 colorways in my opinion, man. And by the way, I know some of you guys can't afford some of these shoes. So make sure to check out Yeah Kick. I got you guys for the low ski. More details down in the description box. And yeah, man, let's go to the worst colorways. My first, and I'm paying to say this, man, we gotta talk about the full time dust. Now I know you guys are gonna be like, but hey, what if boy, you got those in your collection. What made you get those, you know what I'm saying? Hey, listen, bro, listen to me. I was just following the hype, bro. But after actually wearing them like two to three times, look, I gotta be honest. The colorway itself is pretty damn fire. That muted gray and pale vanilla kind of gives me that vintage work wear vibe that I, you know, I actually fuck with. But let's be honest, man. The materials, I'm not feeling it, man. I'm not feeling it. You can tell this already crisping up. Like, come on, bro. And I, I, I hate how they chose to, you know, use it. There's no, you know what I'm saying? Like, what, what the fuck is this, bro? Like, what is this? You know what I'm saying? Like, come on now. It's like they took a trip to Budget Town and forgot the premium memo. For a shoe with that price tag, I expect some top-notch leather. Not something that feels like it belongs on the kindergarten arts and crafts project. That's just me, though. Maybe you find some hidden gems in the materials I, I don't know about. Just just let me know down in the comment section, man, how you feel about these. The Air Jordan 4 Retro Ginger. Whoever came up with this colorway or this concept, bro, needs a serious ass whooping, bro. Look, I'm all about earth tones, but this is just, you know, like, I don't, I don't even know. It's like they took a perfectly good silhouette and dipped it in a cup of weak tea. This one is really self-explanatory, bro. I don't have to explain nothing and don't even get me started on the laces bro come on now now last but not least this is probably my most hated colorways or line in the entire shoe uh history you know what i'm saying and i'm talking about the entire air jordan 4 flight net line look i get it flight net is supposed to be breathable lightweight all the good stuff but on a jordan 4 he just feels wrong man especially the vault colorway the flight net material completely changes the structure of the shoe it loses that iconic crisp look of the og leather plus for the price tag you would expect some premium materials not something that feels like a glorified running shoe maybe i'm old school i'm not even old school like that you know what i'm saying but for me the air jordan 4 is all about the classic silhouette and premium materials the flat knit line just feels like a cheap shortcut a performance gimmick that misses the mark entirely anyone else out there that feels the same way about the flight net line let me know down in the comment section because i know i'm not the only one and yeah man that's it with the best and worst jordan 4 colorways let me know down in the comments what videos you guys want me to do next and yeah i'll see y'all next time peace